they take the money off the children and they send them out you see another one here with the little babies they send them out on the streets begging for money it's sad really because okay it's our last day in the hotel in Hanoi um, and we're heading up to Sapa there are a few options you can either get uh, an overnight train there's a coach and there's what they call limousine minibuses uh, the overnight train it, it just seems a bit of a long trip I do love my train journeys but uh, it seemed a long trip the the coach I've heard a lot of people say, it's a, again, it's an overnight coach generally, and I've heard a lot of people say it's freezing cold on the coach. The drivers stop, start, stop, starts, lights on, and very few people get any sleep. So we've opted to go for a day um, limousine minibus. So they're meant to be quite comfortable, and it'll do the journey in about six hours. Now, I'll just show you out the window. Last look at Hanoi. So, yeah, it's about six hours journey. Ideally, you want to get uh, one of the middle four seats and hopefully we've uh, made ourselves understood because basically the, the middle four seats recline nicely. Uh, the back seats don't and the seats next to the driver don't. Um, fingers crossed, it's 20 US dollars each and it's around about a six hour journey with a couple of stops for sort of restrooms and snacks on the way up. I'm sure we'll be uh, filtered into sort of family-like establishments um, and we'll arrive in Sapa this evening, probably about uh, 7 or 8 o'clock in the evening. So we've got our hotel booked there. So come along, join us on the deluxe limousine minibus to Sapa. I didn't film in the hotel leaving. We're still on the same road. Look at this. Very nice. Very nice. So these are the guys. Hello, how are you? <laughs> and driver, what's your names? Uh, my name is Tuan. 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 And yours? Kai. Kai. Tuan and Kai are drivers. And look. 10 to 3. 10 to 3, so they're a tiny bit early, that's cool. Or on time, really, I should say. And now we've got um, six hours. In this very comfortable very nice. really is a, a limousine style so we have little drinks down here yeah. shower's nice and comfortable do you want to book your bag between us Michelle? i will sort in, sorting out so we we'll just sort out sort out our space is the um the water tower we'll let you know how we find I, I suspect it might be for lunch I don't know. so um yeah we'll we'll see I'll take a little clip later on if, if we get more people lays back so we can have a little rest I've probably got some, uh, put some podcasts on put my noise noise cancelling headphones on sit back just enjoy the journey. Plugs to charge your phone with a USB connection. Air conditioned so it's cool but not but not too cool and close enough to the driver that we could adjust it if it got too cold. Yeah, very happy. When your driver's having a video conversation whilst he's driving along. <laughs> so the driver's having a chat on his phone whilst we're going along and he's holding the, the phone up to show us show show whoever he's talking to his mate who's in the um, who's in the van funny okay so we're stopping for fuel we've been going about 40 minutes it's fueling up toilet toilet
just two stop bathrooms, open plan, men's bathrooms, shopping area. It's all good. So we've stopped in this beautiful mountainous area here. And uh, there's a place you can get a coffee, tea and a break. There's a uh, service station. Look at this. How beautiful is this? We've we'll just stopped. I think we've got maybe 15 minutes or so just to get a drink and a, a bit of a... Bit of a bathroom stop all sorts but these guys just coming from malaysia Hi. crazy they've been how many hours in the airport uh, around six hours six hours in the airport exciting and they're heading up to sapa as well look at this stuff it's the biggest uh, papa dam you're ever likely to see huh michelle's having a little rest i'm waiting for my ice cream we're having an ice cream we're having ice cream ice cream <laughs> sounds like a good idea here's our daily limousine by the way so an iced coffee about uh, 30,000 shall I have an ice cream 30,000 and I think the band me's are around about 30,000 as well so a little bit over the price maybe in Hanoi but not a lot over the price pretty close I'd love to know what these are if any of you actually know what they are let me know they look like a huge papadam or a sort of fried bread of some sort there's some name on there so all in all two band me's and a nice coffee for 90,000. Not too bad. just about to fill the mobile disco that we're in at the moment because now we've got the last few bends, 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 bends. We're climbing quite considerably. The guy's decided to put his, his, uh, his music on. So there you go. They turned it off then. But, um, I, I asked him to turn it down. It was literally making your ears bleed. So loud. <laughs> so this is it. Michelle said it's like Blackpool. <laughs> She's not wrong. A lot of bright lights. It's not the uh, sleepy little hill no. village that, that uh, we're led to believe, is it, Michelle? Yeah. It's not the sleepy little hill tribes that we expected. Ready for the real sapper. <laughs> <laughs> 